Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about a new module called eBay Connector for Magento 2. Now this module helps the admin to sync product from eBay store to Magento store and also from Magento 2 store to eBay store. Now the admin can get all the products from the eBay using this module and can also get the categories orders related to the synchronized eBay products. Now let's come into the installation part. You have to unzip the folder and then you will get the SRC folder. Click on the SRC folder, then you will get the app folder. You have to upload the app folder into your Magento to root directory and then you're done with the installation part. Now, after the installation, you have to get the app ID application, that is application ID, developer ID from the eBay store. So what you have to do, you have to log in with this URL go.developer.ebay.com. So this is the link and you have to sign in. After signing, you can get the application keys that is app ID, developer ID and certificate ID. Now you have to get the access token also. So you have to click here. That is the user token. You have to click here. And then again, it will ask you to sign into the sandbox. So you will click here to sign in. Now you will again sign in. Now you will get the user ID and the token. You have, okay, wait, see, you will get this page. You have to agree to this terms and condition. You just have to follow the steps which I followed and you will get see this is the user ID and this is the application token. So you have to copy from here and then you have to paste it. Now I will show you how you can configure the module. So this is my admin panel. I will go to store and then configuration. And then this is the eBay Magento Connect. So here you um, wait, I'm showing you. Yes, see, you have to copy this and you have to paste here and you have to copy from here till here and then you have to paste here and developer token application ID and certification ID. I told you where you can get these things and then you have to enter the postal code and then you have to set the payment option. You have to enter your PayPal email address and your default shipping detail and you have to save the configuration part. So now we are done with the configuration part. After the configuration part, you will click here to import the eBay categories. After importing the eBay categories, you are ready to use this module. Now you can see these three menus, map category, map product, and map eBay order. So first we will map category. See these two are already mapped category. So I will show you how you can map a new category. So sheet and t-shirt, okay. I will go to this. Now you have to select your Magento store category and you have to select in which eBay category or subcategory you want to map your Magento 2 category. Okay. So now I will click here. See, now the category has been successfully mapped with the eBay category. See, simple top with the t-shirt. And uh, each time you have to just flush the cache.
Now after mapping category, we have to map product. So first I will import the products from the EP. After importing, you will get this attention node, 25 products imported in your store from eBay. Run profiler and create this product in your store. So now, I will just click here. See, after the execution is completed, you will get this error if the product which, your time, which you are trying to map already exists. See, I got this error because I already mapped this product, okay? And I also mapped few new products. So you can see total 61 products imported. So there were few existing products. So here you can see if you will try to map an existing product, then you will get the error because the SQ exists. And for the new product, it will be mapped successfully. So now let's come into. Now I am importing our Magento 2 products into eBay. So for example, only I will show you only two products because it is a time taking process. One product has been mapped. See, both the products are imported on eBay. So this is all about our map product. Just one thing, when you will map any Magento product into your eBay, I will just show you. Suppose this one only, you have to select the eBay specification also. When you will map the category, then only you will get these three, eBay product condition as category, eBay specification and eBay product variation. You have to go here and you have to select uh, the brand style. See, it is related to the category which we have mapped. See, we have mapped the t-shirt category. So whatever the specification eBay has for this particular category. So we have to select any value which is matching as per your product requirement. So from here, you can just select. So you have to select the values from the drop down and then you have to save and then you have to run the profiler and then it will be completed.